My name is Caitlin O'Neill, and I am the new head of lower school at Sacred Heart Greenwich. I am also the proud graduate of a Sacred Heart school at 91st Street, where I spent an incredible four years of high school, and where I have also served for the past 14 years as a teacher and an educator and an administrator. I always joke that I am in the family business. My mother taught at our local Catholic school for over 30 years, where I also attended St. Gabriel School in the Bronx. And my father is a teacher and an educator as well. He just retired recently, shy of 50 years at Fordham Prep, which is also in the Bronx. And I attended Convent of the Sacred Heart at 91st Street for high school. I was fortunate enough to receive a scholarship to spend four incredible years there. And it's where I was introduced to the goals and criteria, which have always served as a guiding light for me. And I think uh, really specifically about goal three, service to others, which has always uh, inspired me. And I think that when I went on to Fordham College at Rose Hill, that um, element of service that lived within me really inspired me to get involved with Global Outreach, which was a service program there. Uh, it allowed me to travel, and it also allowed me to serve on the board there, which was a wonderful experience. And during that time, I also got involved at uh, Head Start, uh, our local Head Start on Daly Avenue, where I taught preschoolers. And I think that's the combination of service and working in the preschool for me really kind of pushed me in the direction of wanting to be uh, kind of solidifying for me that I wanted to be an educator. At Fordham College at Rose Hill is also where I met my husband and we now have three beautiful daughters. And so an all girls education really speaks to me both in this vocation, in my profession, but also very personally for me now. After college, I started working in the Fordham Alumni Relations Office, and I was going to school at night to get my degree in education. And one of the women in my class said she worked at 91st Street. And so making kind of a long story short, five weeks later, I found myself working circling back to 91st Street and working there. And I served as the assistant in first grade for a couple of years. And then I went on to teach second grade uh, for three wonderful years. I got to be involved in First Holy Communion, which I loved. And then I went on to fourth grade for three years and became the uh, math specialist for lower school. And it sounds like a lot of movement, and, and that movement really was very intentional because I knew, as I've mentioned, from a very early age I wanted to be involved in education and perhaps be an administrator. And I had a wonderful mentor who said, if that's your goal, do it all. You know, know what it's like to walk in all of those shoes so that when you are in a leadership position, when you are helping to guide others, you authentically know what it feels like. When I first started working at 91st Street, I had the incredible opportunity to actually walk in the footsteps of St. Madeline Sophie. And we visited her childhood home in Joanie and had the wonderful experience of actually staying in her home with Sacred Heart Sisters. And I think it instilled in me such a love and joy for this mission. You know, reading the actual letters that she wrote and speaking to my colleagues about it, it, it really transformed me as a Sacred Heart educator. And I can only hope that that love and that joy that I felt while I was there is something that I can bring to this new role at Sacred Heart Greenwich. To pursue that dream of becoming an administrator, uh, it, along with the many roles that I served at 91st Street, I decided to attend the Klingenstein Center at Columbia University, uh, which was a wonderful experience. And through the many lessons that I learned there, I actually went back to 91st Street and uh, we created a dean position in the lower school. And I created that position alongside with the head of lower school there. And uh, that job was absolutely wonderful. I got to oversee the curriculum from pre-k through grade four. I got to work with the teachers and serve them uh, through professional development and it allowed me to work really closely with the middle school uh, dean and the upper school dean to create uh, a beautiful arc to our curriculum as our students went from lower school into middle school and ultimately upper school. 
I have a really unique perspective, I think, on joining the Sacred Heart community because at 14 years old, I knew what it was like to step through the doors and to be a part of that community for the very first time. And I think that the environment that is created at a Sacred Heart school in an atmosphere of wise freedom, right, as we know from goal five, really allowed me to grow and develop in ways that I didn't know that I could. Stepping into this role as the new head of lower school at Sacred Heart Greenwich really feels like this incredible full circle moment for me. You know, a real coming home because I think about my time as a student and as an educator at a Sacred Heart school and I think about the absolute joy of being a part of that community and how every child is known and loved for exactly who she is. And I hope that I can bring that into this role and I'm so excited to meet every child and every family and help each student unearth her unique gifts that she can then share with the world.